Hi friends. I hope wherever you are in the world, you are happy and healthy. My name is Tammy. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. If you're returning, welcome back. I like to talk about all things that are self-care for me, which would be life in general, spending time with my family and my friends, going out into nature. It's tarot cards and oracles, makeup, skincare, books, essential oils, candles, basically a little bit of this and a little bit of that and everything in between. So if that sounds good to you, um, please consider subscribing and um, hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I put out a new video. Today's video is my second update for Deck of Pammy. I decided 2023, I wanted to have a low buy year. So a low buy with my tarot and oracles, a low buy with my makeup, my skincare, all the way around low buy. Because I went a little, um, I bought a lot of stuff since 2020. And um, I needed to use what I have. So this year so far, I have been doing relatively okay. Eyeshadow palettes tend to be a real gotcha for me. <laughs> and so far, I think this year, I think I've only bought one eyeshadow palette. No, take that back. Probably two, because I did get the Valentine's collection from um, Unearthly. So yeah, either way, it's not a no buy but it is a low buy. I'm just trying to think smarter about the decisions I make regarding my purchases. So this year I decided I was going to engage in a, in a deck of panning and start there. Who knows, maybe I'll continue panning, maybe I'll pick up another one next year, but I thought deck of panning would be perfect for my channel because I do have the big Oracle and Tarot collection. I love my cards. I love playing with cards. And I love makeup. So it was a match made. Anyway, so I have been using my Gypsy Witch fortune telling cards um, for this panning project. And I'll continue to use them throughout the year. So I want to first recap last month. Last month, um, I... Let me get my paper. Last month, the first card I pulled said I needed to grab an influencer collab, and I do have several of them. I chose the influencer collab with um, Teresa is Teresa. Teresa <laughs> is dead, and this is her Teresa is Lethal palette that she did with Lethal Cosmetics. And this is actually her second palette right here. Let me bring it down so you don't see the mirror. And since I was pulling out that one, I decided to pull out her first palette too. So this is the Teresa is Dead palette. And I chose to do so because these palettes are sisters. They just go together so well. And so I chose to do five looks and I left it open how I wanted to complete that, whether I wanted to do all five looks with one palette, five looks combining, a little bit from this, a little bit from that, however I wanted to do it. Um, and I'm so glad I chose these palettes because I have not played with them for a while. And I loved the looks I came up with. I loved pairing them together because they do go together so nicely. And so I actually did more than the five looks that I had planned. So I met that goal. The next one, next card I pulled, said to grab something that was brand new. So at that time, the newest thing to my makeup collection um, was actually this uh, Too Faced, Born This Way, um, Ethereal Lights concealer. And I'd only used it once at the time that I chose to use this, because I'd just gotten it, and I didn't like it. So this was kind of my way of 
putting it also on the chopping block, like, can I make this concealer work for me? And if so, then I'll keep it. If not, I declutter it. Um, and I hate to declutter like pretty much like the base um, makeup, like concealer, foundation. And that's pretty much because I am the lightest amongst my family and friends. So it pretty much is a waste. Um, so I told myself I would use this 10 times and I used it more than 10 times because even though it's not my favorite, I found that I was able to make it work for me. I found that, you know, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. If so, so I can make it work. And so I will be keeping it so that I, you know, get my uses out of it. The next one, um, next card I pulled said a seasonal product. And I chose the Planet Spirit palette from Odin's Eye and Batty Bean. Um, I chose this because this palette is just super colorful. In fact, when I opened it, I was like, oh, that's so pretty, but I can never put it on my eyes. As you can tell, I don't have a problem with colors. This is not from this palette though. This is from the Bard palette um, from Fantasy Cosmetica. But, um, but I'm not afraid of colors, but I do tend to stick within the same color range, like color family. And this did not have like, like there's, you know, two in the same color family there. I kind of pair this one and that one, you know, but there's pretty much two and I liked, I prefer three within a color family. So I was a little nervous about this one. The other two palettes are definitely more my color stories. So I wasn't so worried about whether or not I would love those. I loved those immediately. This one scared me a little. Um, in the end, I did make my five looks. I loved the looks I did come out with. It did make me kind of stretch my legs and come out of my comfort zone. So I really love this palette. Um, I have two others that Batty Bean did. She really does come up with some beautiful color stories. And not necessarily things that I would automatically gravitate towards, but whenever I do use them, I love them. So I met that goal. The next was powder. And this one was a bittersweet for me because I've had this powder for years. Um, it's from my hometown and um, it's a small business in the family that creates it. Um, one of them is, you know, one of my closest friends growing up and I consider their family my family. That being said, um, I really have grown to love, love, love this. And this is the Uber Silk. You have the Uber Silky formula. And um, it's the Mendocino Minerals Dr. Baratini powder. And I was almost done with it, but not quite. So I told myself, okay, I'll use it for 10 times. And I ended up panning it. So... I will be getting this again in the future because I do love the formulation of this, but I'm not going to grab it right now because I have like six or seven powders already that I need to use. You know, I don't need to spend more money just yet. So I met that goal and panned it. Yay! Talking about panning, this was not in any project pan. I just panned it. Um, and I finished up my little Vitamin Glow Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and I actually did enjoy this, so this might be one I get in the future. I'm not going to get it now because I have several primers, <laughs> but I am in, I did enjoy this. All right, the next card I pulled actually told me to grab another card, so that meant two more products because I had to pull two cards, one for the card that I was putting away and one for the additional card I had to pull. So the additional card I had to pull, or the first card I had to pull, um, was for an affordable product. So for me, I chose from the Tinkerbell collection, um, 
color pops super shock cheek shadow and this is in the color magic moon and it's very shimmery it's very spring like and i told myself that i would use this five times and i did i don't know why i said five times on everything practically because when it comes to cheek products i like to try to say at least 10 but for some reason i said five maybe it was because of the colors i don't know but i really do like this i plan to use this more throughout spring and probably into summer too the next one was a product from a brand that i only have one from and for me that was ve cosmetics i had purchased a couple palettes but i ended up decluttering those and giving them to friends and family so this is in the color Witchcraft, and um, it pairs so nicely with this one. So I ended up grabbing this one, and again, I said five times, and I used it five times, so I met that objective. So now, that means I get to pull another five cards, or if I get that card again, it may be more than five products, so we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle my cards. I will tell you the little fortunes that they have, too, because you'll see, like, there's a picture, and then there's, like, a little fortune on the side here. Um, they're kind of like Lenormand cards, but since there's so many, there's extra meanings of the cards. So I'm going to give it a good shuffle. And I'm going to pick five cards, so I'm not you know, shuffling throughout in case you do not love the sound of cards shuffling as much as I do. I love that sound. It brings me back to childhood. Not just playing card games with my family, but also my grandparents trying to teach me how to play cards for the casinos. I tend to speak softly sometimes, so hopefully you caught that. My grandparents tried to teach me to count cards or casinos when I was seven. Didn't really work, but it did make me better at math. Not that it's my favorite either. All right, the first card I pulled is the three of spades, and it's the pig. And the fortune says, the pig, whether near or far, is an omen of phenomenal luck and great abundance, high honors and all ambition attained. Ooh, I'm kind of blurry there. All right, so I will find something for that, and the Three of Spades is a controversial brand. So that'll be fun. All right, the next card is the Nine of Diamonds. And it's a heart. And the heart signifies great joy when near. So, so far we've got great abundance and great joy. I'm liking liking what the cards are saying all right and the nine of diamonds is matches my eye color oh no i do not love blue eyeshadow on me maybe it's a bottle too i can use or something else it's I'm going to have to look and see, does this mean blue eyeshadow or does this mean anything that maybe comes in a blue package? Because if so, I'll pull out my Thrive. <laughs> All right, we'll see. We'll, we'll look it up. I'll look it up um, when I go to find products to use. All right, next is Eight of Spades. Eight of Spades is... The mountain, the mountains nearby indicate the presence of a mighty enemy. Oh, I don't, I don't like that sound of that one because we got good luck, great joy in an enemy. All right, let's see here. Eight of spades is chopping block. So this is an item that I'm considering not keeping and I'm not sure if I want it or not. So I like the idea of using it to see. Do I really want this or can I let it go? Next is the two of diamonds. And it's the lady. 
Like, sorry for that glare. Like, there you go, two of diamonds. Um, and this card represents the lady whose fortune is being told and all other cards affect it to degree in accordance to their relative proximity. When a lady's fortune is being told, um, the card number 19 has no significance in the layout. Well, we don't have a cup. Um, number 19. All right, so Two of Diamonds is my favorite brand. Okay. And last card, potentially. So we have a, contro a controversial brand. We have the chopping block. We have matches my eyes and my favorite brand. And the last one is 10 of diamonds. Which is the, I never know how to say this, Sith, Sith, Sight, Sight, you know, that to black down the wheat, Skiff, Sky. I want to say it's Sky, but I'm not sure. All right, um, um, Presage's Disappointment and When Near the Coffin, whew, early, it's nowhere near the coffin, so we're lucky. No, no early death on that one. Woo. Ten of Diamonds is sentimental. So a sentimental product. Okay, so I have the Chopping Block, favorite brand, matches my eye color, controversial brand, and what was the last one I just said? Um, sentimental. Okay, I will be back. And when I come back, I'll show you which items I've chosen to put in my planning project for this month. All right, so I am back. And kind of cheated, not really, sort of, maybe. I'll let you decide. All right, so the first card I pulled, or at least the first one I think I pulled, was that three of spades. And that is a controversial item. So I chose my Jacqueline Cosmetics um, bronzer. Because lots going on there right now. And this is in vitamin D. I just love the smell. I just love the smell. So this is going in my kit. And I think I'll say I'll use it 15 times. So let me write that down. 15 times. All right. Then I think I might stay with 15 around the, excuse me, I've got it hair on my okay um then for chopping block because I also got the eight of spades and it's interesting I saw I had all spades and all diamonds this time eight of spades chopping block I chose my bonfire um this is the night owl bonfire I don't usually do like shiny. I am today because I was like, oh, it's spring. Let me try to see if I, what my thoughts are because, you know, this was already kind of on my chopping block radar. So here are the colors. I mean, it's very pretty. Um, I just don't use it very often. So I don't know if I'm going to want to keep it. All right. Then Next, I believe, was Two of Diamonds, which is favorite brand. And for this one, I have several favorite brand, favorite brands. Um, so it was really kind of hard for me to decide which one to go with. But in the end, I decided to count out. And the brand that I had the most products from would be the brand that I chose. I thought that was the only fair way to do it. Because even though I have a lot of favorites, I have a lot of palettes, small palettes, five pan palettes, you know, midi palettes, and several of the blushes. So in the end, I chose Natasha Denona. Oh, Natasha Denona. And I chose the Glam palette because um, this is everyday wearable. Man, I cannot talk. It's everyday wearable. So 
I thought that would be, you know, a good one to throw in because I know I'm going to be choosing other palettes that are very spring. Um, and I wanted to have something that I could wear every day. And so I'll, I'll use that 15 times, this 15 times, and I could choose either of these colors or both, you know, this one five times, this one 10, however I want to 15 times for that product. All right, the next one was the Nine of Diamonds, which was Matches My Eyes. This is kind of where I cheated. <laughs> so I went back and forth and I was like, oh, the bale fire or the bomb fire has some blue. I could say, oh, this one, because it's blue, but it's on my chocolate cloth. However, this little tart cream um, bronzer in Seychelles is also on my chopping block because it's nice. I just don't know if it's, you know, how well I'm going to be able to like share that out. So that's not, I mean, I guess it is. It's kind of on the, the chopping block though too. So two chopping block items, one go. I like that. Like those odds there. The last card I pulled was the 10 of diamonds and that was sentimental. I don't really get sentimental without any makeup. So I did the best thing that I could. Although I'm not sentimental about the makeup itself, I do find that I purchase um, packaging that is sentimental. So like I just purchased one of the new Alice in Wonderland um, blushes from ColourPop. I purchased the Strawberry Shortcake collection from Glamlight. And I, you know, when I wear lipstick, I tend to do more so a very neutral and this is kind of more pink. So I figured this would be my sentimental. So I've only worn this like maybe once and maybe twice. So this would be my sentimental um, product because it's got strawberry shortcake on it. That's my childhood. So um, yeah, so to recap, in my, <laughs> in my panning project, this time is the bronzer or as two bronzers, a lipstick, a blush package with two different colors, and my Natasha Denona Glam. All right, so I'm gonna put those in my panning project, but I think I'm also going to put a couple other objects or other products, not objects, products in there. Um, this e.l.f. concealer, complete coverage concealer, it has seen better days and is as nasty as can be. Um, so I am going to Give it a couple more tries and see if I want to keep this or put it in the chopping block. Um, and then I want to see if I can pan this this month, um, the marshmallow primer from NYX. But these, these two are actually not in this panning project. They're just extra things that I put in my panning project. All right. Well, I hope that you have a wonderful evening, day, whatever it is where you are, and um, stay blessed and stay beautiful. Bye.